Tonight we're in the shadow of the Washington Monument just across the Potomac for the PLL Championship Series on ESPN. Second game of the night featuring Archers and Chrome. First game, Atlas. Hammer the whip snakes. As we take a look at our schedule for this championship series. Round robin play the first three nights, Thursday and Friday on ESPN2 and ESPN+. Plus. Semi-final Saturday on ESPN+. Plus. Finals, championship game Sunday, 10.30 on ESPNU. We kick things off with one, and you saw the archers start to leak out at the end of that possession. Expect to see them utilize more of that strategy. Inside, Trainer scores. Jeff Trainer puts archers up early. Snoskis, Williams rather, underneath. Now a pass and a goal. Sorry about that language. Oh, oh, the in. <laughs> this might have been a double pipe and yeah, in. I think it was down the back of the net. And as you can see, after a goal is scored, after a goal is scored, we're going right back at it. Holman to the middle of the field. Take a look at the game flow on the replay. Holman scores for Archers, meanwhile. Sides. Two point shot scores. Dylan Malloy. Check that. That's Rogers 77, not 17. Trying to dodge on Jackson Morrill. Pass inside a trainer. He scores. And already you're seeing Amen be the quarterback, not from behind the cage, which we're traditionally seeing, but from the wing and up top. Vince. Double team comes. Got him all hung up in the field. That's Matt Ward defending. Kostaskis gets free though and scores. What a great individual effort. He's just so physical. It was actually a great jump of that pick by Moore. When you switch these picks, you got to know who's coming on around that. Kostaskis jump out, challenge that. So smart play by Moore, but it just doesn't matter given the sheer physicality of Wisnowskis. Looking to really make hay in this type of a tournament. Anderson, 21 for Chrome. Here's Wisnowskis. Got the angle on Holman. Now the pass and score. Drew the defense, found his teammate. Harrison Bardwell for the goal. Anderson doesn't get through. A lot of shots being blocked before they get to the cage. Tonight. There was Alex Smith, 39. That is, no one's going to block that shot. Cole Williams finds it back on the net. Playing well. Yeah, and this is basically a tryout for him, right? In terms of with the Archer specifically. Oh, scores! Now that was a great goal. D. Simone done that to try. Well, you know what? Everybody's kind of in a tryout. Most, most players are in a kind of a tryout for him. D. Simone has a good tournament here. Those acrobatic type of plays you saw on the left right. side of your screen. Oh boy, look at that quickness. And he shoots, scores! That's a beautiful shot. Those quick hands. For a guy his size with that kind of physicality. Yeah, that's spot on. You, you look at him and he's such a tank, you just forget sometimes how skilled he is. Right? He, he doesn't get enough credit for his skill and IQ just given the fact that his physicality jumps off the page. He goes a clean 220. He's a load to handle. Increasing his angle. On the far side. John score. That time it was Wisnowskis. It was a beautiful leaner. You saw all of his body English goes down low. He keeps his stick high and his shot goes high. That did a deception so hard for Krebs to track. Got to the middle of the field, back, help comes, Malloy, extra pass to Smith. Couldn't find the hand, but out, Holman, scores! What a possession there by Holman, you start with him on the defensive end, the heady double team causes the loop into the chaos, and then the short outlet pass 
He's off to the races with a diving goal. That's an incredible possession there by Holman on both sides of the field. Peacock hits the pipe. By Holman on both sides of the field. Peacock hits the pipe. And a lot of pipes on this end. Jackson Morrill. Two point shot, two point shot. No, just a one point. Now they're saying he had a foot on the line. One point. Oscars. Bardwell just trying to barrel his way in there. Jackson Morrill was the one who scored. In the way of home right now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Breaks are going their way, and they forge a seven-point lead. And he's trying to dig into that with the goal. Final minute of this first half. Williams to Malloy. He'll fire. Gets it back. Now Smith inside. Scores. Up reaction there by Smith. Another kind of bang bang play. Just seems like those plays are going in the way of home right now, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Trainer came over, a little ball pressure and some contact kind of took that shot, made it off the mark. Shot Spinelli makes the save. Shouting instructions to his teammates. We'll get a timeout for the Archers and Owen McElroy. Young man out of Georgetown in net for the Chrome. Heacock is going to test the shooter right away and beat him. You love seeing that from Heacock. Really struggled shooting last year. From Heacock, really struggled shooting last year. But back in 21, you know, 39% shooter. Just got a little snake bit last year. Hogman with the two point goal. He had one two-pointer last regular season, so he has that type of range. Anderson. Smith lets it go. Williams can't handle it. Loose ball in the middle. Malloy picks it up. Can't score, though. Rebound right into the cross of Justin Anderson, and he puts it home. And that's exactly what Bates was talking about coming out of halftime, those late goals. Archers need to finish these possessions defensively. Credit the Chrome for sticking with it. Trainer, base. Credit the Chrome for sticking with it. Trainer, base mentioned had a good half. Matt Moore finds the back of the net. 14 9 is our official score. We'll correct that scoreboard. Trainer scores. Hat trick for Trainer. There's Cole Williams. Help comes defensively, knocks him off his feet. Loose ball picked up by Archers. Easy goal on the breakaway by Ryan Ambler. And now we're going to get a timeout. Shockmani's seen enough. Great start to the second half by the Archers. All their way back into this one over the last two minutes. Can they keep it going? Snosk is trying to make sure that doesn't happen. No problem that time. Jackson Morrill just weaves his way through the defense. And ironically, it was on Robbins, who's out there for defensive pers uh, 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 personnel. Defense. And ironically, it was on Robbins, who's out there for defensive pers uh, 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 personnel. He kind of went over the head. Nice look. Amen. Scores. Smith coming out of the box. Williams. They're not letting Williams set his feet at all from distance. Malloy. Good look inside, scores. Outstanding pass. And Gibson Smith scores. Gibson Smith showing he can score <laughs> with a short stick. If you had a leaping quick stick by Gibson Smith on the doorstep on your bingo card, I, right. I give you credit. Yeah. yeah. This, this format, man, you got to play both offense and defense no matter what type of player you are. That's a two point goal. Will Manny. And you wouldn't think of Manny as a two-point threat. I dug into the stats. You look at him historically. He was a 27% shooter from 13 yards okay. over the last several years. So he is a microcosm of that distance being such a big, big gap. It's being such a big, big gap in terms of, wait, now I am a two-point threat. Wow, Heacock shrugs off the defense and scores. The other thing, too, is 
I mean, he's an attackman in, uh, in the field game. You know, spot on, and also just from a feeding perspective, harder to get in a guy's hands, too. Damn it, now the pass. Good look. Ambler scores. That's, that is quintessential Archer's offense. Spot on. Bates talked about that east west, right to left, left to right, back and forth. Archer's relentless on offense. Getting ever so closer. Anderson's going to end that run, though. Puts Chrome back up three. Moore will look to dodge on Smith. That's a good matchup. Tried to feed it inside to Connors. Couldn't handle it, traffic. And that matchup for any defense. You can see Manny directing traffic with Dee Simone, just trying to get his teammates in the right spot. That's the right spot for Manny. He buries it. That's what he was talking about. For Archers, that, that didn't go awry. Now a two-point shot. McElroy makes his first save of the night, and it's a big one. On the run all night long. Heyman is looking to make something happen on Wisnowski. He does, left-handed. Beautiful finish. And the key there was he got to the middle of the field before then changing directions back to his left. Holman. That's Ambler. Now this is Augevin. Augevin shoots and scores on the run. Two-point goal to boot. Archers have taken the lead. Williams. Mac or Malloy rather. Wow, Malloy two points as well as he beats Wishuda. And just like Manny, you wouldn't think of Malloy no, at half with Logan Wisnowskis and the one point lead. Working on Robbins. That's a pretty good matchup. Ambler comes to help over the shoulder. Score! Silly. Absurd. Disgusting. Incredible hustle play there. Saving his bacon. Yeah, incredible hustle play. Now inside, he comes, scores! With a defender draped all over him. With authority, too. And the lead is three. Bates wants to talk things over. He needs to right now, up three. Good save by Washuda. Connor's trying to come out of there with it. He loses it initially, now Ambler with it. Archer is still alive. Archer's got to move with some purpose. Two-point shot and a goal! Well, Holman will dig into that deficit quickly. Moore on the run. He can shoot and scores! Now, defensively, how will the Chrome attack this? Because to your point, they have all offensive players on the field for the Archers. Anderson quickly. Wisnowskis, no! Shot the clock should stop. Upfield. Oh, it was shoot to Oh, he looks to pass. Trying to find D. Simone. Still 3.2 to go. Can McElroy find somebody on the far end? No. Sails it over everything, and we're going to overtime, my friend. Woo! Yep. Bardwell and Connors, and Connors wins it. And a reminder, no timeouts. So that, that's why they had to organize all that in that huddle. There's no timeouts. They don't get an extra timeout in the extra session. Aiming coming on. First goal with Ball with Moore. He's going to start with Ambler. On the far side. Great look. Off the pipe. And it stays with Archers. That was an unbelievable look from Will Manny. Now Moore gets dumped, no call. Eamon, forced behind the cage, comes back around. Moore, still plenty of time to shoot. He's going to shoot, though. And McElroy makes the initial save. That's the game winner. And it's Marcus Holman who wins it for Archers. We'll see you tomorrow, 6.30 Eastern on ESPN Plus for Whip Snakes and Archers, Atlas and Chrome, the nightcap. So join us tomorrow as the PLL Championship Series continues. For Ryan Boyle, Dana Boyle, and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Chris Cotter. Thanks for watching, everyone. Good night from D.C.